Hello, I just uh, downloaded the Action PC Golf 2021. Thought I would take it for a spin. Uh, these are the uh, the new season up to date. So I would take my uh, Webb Simpson is one of my favorite golfers. So we will take him on a casual round. I did play uh, one half round at Colonial, and uh, so far I'm very impressed with the updates. Nothing major, uh, but uh, some cool stuff going on. So we'll play uh, nine holes and see if I can ever find Webb Simpson here. There he is. Let's see, where can we play? Yeah, we can go ahead and play at Augusta. That's always fun. Play the 2021. They say that the weather is fixed, so we'll download the weather. So there is no wind and it's clear. Do dynamic weather so it can change. Beautiful Augusta. Now, in my preferences, I like most of the helps turned off, so I don't do that. Don't do the live percentage. I don't automatically aim the short game. I do show, like showing the carry line. Uh, I do hide the putting percentages, and uh, I hide the CPU assist panel. Alrighty. So, Webb Simpson typically hits his driver at 283. And uh, there's no wind today, so 283. I take him about there. Uh, let's see, it's a little downhill. Let's back off the club a little bit. Hit the two. Oh, he hits right. That's not good at all. Hit that one nine nine right. That's as about as bad as you can get. Looks like we're Blocked by the trees here, pretty much anything we do. It's 39% there. Yeah, let's. Oh, oh, he almost got out of it. <laughs> I thought he got through the first round of trees, but the second one got him. I think he's got a clear shot here. Still in the rough, so he's got uh, 144. It's going to be too much. Him being in the rough, uh, it's going to roll when it hits. Uh, that's one thing in that first half round I did. Uh, the dynamics or the physics of the rolls and things seem to be more realistic to me. Um, so an, an improvement on that. Um, and then the short game. Uh, one thing also they got uh, like helps that pop up, which I think are very helpful. They may have been on a previous version, but I never saw them. I may have had them clicked off or something. Uh, but especially on the short game, those pop-up windows are, are very good. I like that a lot. Let's hit it high, so that way we can maybe not roll as far. Oh, get up that hill there. Yeah, see, this hat rolls. It's rolling more than it used to, seems to me. So I like that. So we got a 21 putt uphill, far par. After landing in the trees, can he save the par? Oh, just hit it. Good job, Webb Simpson. So we go to the par five here. So again, at 283, this is downhill substantially. So he's going to get some carry on that. Let's see, we could uh, try a little bit of a draw. See if he can pull that off or not. Looks like he did. Nice shot. Roll out there, middle of the fairway. It's 83 in Augusta, Georgia right now, and here in my game. So 261, again, substantially downhill. So that's going to carry a lot further than 261. 247, you know, probably the prudent thing to do would be to lay up in here somewhere. Hmm, two, uh, let's see, 
223. Put you about there. That's going to get you pretty close. Let's hit it high. Let's see. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Hit that a little hard. I probably didn't carry. Now, this is something new here. Normally, the sand shots had the same uh, options as the short chip shots and things like that, the pitches. And so here you see that we have two options. Um, so uh, the low spin is the more forgiving but less precise. So you hit behind the ball. And I read through these. So the high spin is like if you don't have a lot of green to work with. So the standard there. That Let's do the standard because that will get me on top of that ridge. And uh, it's going to roll to the right. So let's aim up here a little bit. See if you can pull that off. Oh, you got too much of that one. Way too much of that one. Yeah, 151 percent. So he clobbered that one. All right, so he's able to putt. So he can switch to the short game. So here, the short game, you see, you got skip and check, super flop. So we had all these options originally, but you've got a couple different options here. And again, these pop-up windows are great. They kind of explain to you. Uh, what you're able to do. But let's switch back to putting here. Let's see if we can pull off this 18. Footer for birdie. Oh. Just missed it. So he'll get his par. Now these are obviously things you download um, from the community group, which is great. I normally read these when I'm doing uh, tournaments and things like that. So let's get the lay of the land. So we got a 350 here. He carries 283. It is a little uphill, but we've got a lot of space here. So let's go hit there and see if he can hit that big fat part. And he hit it to the right. Get a little bit of roll. So it's above his feet and uphill. Uh, we got uh, 48, so that's going to be about 50%. So that's 52 uphill, and he's going to hit it to the left a little bit. And it's also uh, uphill to the pin. So I think if he maybe high spins that, we might get it to roll back. So let's see what that does. If he can hit it on the green. Nice. Oh, it just rolled off the green. If he'd had a little bit more green, he could have got that backspin. But again, he's close enough to putt. So that's slightly uphill. So we'll lag it because it's a bit of a putt. And he gets it close enough for his par. So it looks like uh, when I uploaded it, uh, I uploaded it in the default folders and it kept all my current seasons and all my seat or uh, my courses so i didn't have any problems in the download uh, it was pretty much like it always is nothing out of the ordinary there so we got 247 and that is downhill so that's going to be too much club 223 might not be enough yeah. He's in, in between clubs. Let's see. We could go back to the five wood, 247, and back off of it a little. Looks like I need about 230. So they say that typically you want to be 50 or 75 on this. But uh, let's, let's aim it this way just a little. Go, go, go. Hit that bank. And he's going to roll back down the bank, looks like. But at least he got on the green. I would like to have been up on the ridge. But I'll take that. So he's uphill. 29 foot putt. I'm going to go after it. And he misses to the right. It looks like it's doable for his par. Long par four. So let's 
it's 283. And again, we have no wind to speak of. So let's hit it there. Uh, it might roll off the green or off the fairway. Nope. It stays on there. Very good. Ooh, <laughs> that ball is a lot above his feet. So he is going to uh, see 196, slightly downhill. So and it's uphill lie. So I think if well, that's way above his feet, I think he's going to yank it to the left a lot. Uh, but not enough. So get up there, get up there. That'd have been really good if he'd have hit it a little straighter. Let's see, did I overcompensate or did he hit it right? And he hit it right just a little bit. I overcompensated a little and he hit it to the right a little. All right, so we got a pitch. Now that's going to bounce. That's downhill. That's going to bounce right into that bank. So let's see, a low trajectory, high spin shot, takes skill to execute for strong short games. Why to get close to tight pins? Some good fairway lies. An extra high. Okay. So if we do the lob, that'll get me a little closer to that. And let's let's get a little up there because of the uphill lie he has. So let's see if we can hit that bank. Ooh, not bad. That worked out pretty well. Put it in for his par. Hole six. Three par, 180. He's got 196. It's way downhill, so that's going to be way too much club. 182. So that ought to just aim to the right a little bit to get a little bit of the... Oh, wow. He banged that one. <laughs> I think he overhit that. Maybe I or undercompensated for the down slope. Now he hit that almost 104%. So he hit that harder than necessary. So a pitch is not going to get as far enough. A lob is so we're going to have to flop this one. Let's flop it over here. It's rolling downhill. Let's make roll to the right a little. Yeah, not too bad. I wonder if he hit that to the left. Or if I overcompensated for it. Yep, he hit to the left a little. So he got a nine foot for a par. And he made it. Good putt. So here we... And the wind's picking up a little bit. Seven miles per hour. 283. Downhill just a little. But that's not enough wind might move us a little. Oh, he hits left a lot. Bad shot, bad shot. Ouch. His tendency is to hit left plus plus. So he went 8-3 on that one. So that was just a bad hit. So it looks like he is blocked by the trees there. He does. He is able to get enough club. But not that the trees are pretty bad. So let's see if we can get down to... We had like a 33% there. That's risky. The wind, uh, let's see if we can draw it a little. This <laughs> crazy shot. If you can get it out of there. Oh. And he hit another tree. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to block his way or not. Just a little bit. All right, so this is his third shot, and uh, he's, he's 45, so that's going to be about 50% of that. So that's 52, so with him being in the bristles there, that's going to roll. And so 52, and it's uphill, so that's going to knock some off of it, so that might be close. Let's hit it high, uh, and he hit the tree. Probably shouldn't have hit high under a tree. <laughs> That probably wasn't my best golf shot ever. Let's see, Sophie. Alright, so we're going to need more than that because we need to try to hit that ridge. Let's see, get 
up there. And again, got a lot of roll because he wasn't, because he was in the rough. So he's got a 15 footer for bogey, which is going to be tough. Oh, he picked it up though. Nice shot. He's doing some good putting this round. Okay, so. Got uh, 280. He's going to put us about there. The wind's going to blow us to the left a little. Uh, and he hits to the left again. Hopefully that stays on the fringe. I don't know if those trees are going to hurt us or not. And he's in the fairway. Let's see. And the trees get us there, but not there. So he's got 261 on the three wood, and it's below his feet, so he's going to hit it to the right. So this is a five par, so probably the best thing to do is to knock it down a little. Let's see, 247 is going to put him about there. Looks like he's going to hit it to the right a little because of the Y below his feet. Looks like we're in the fairway for our next shot. So we got uh, 72. Let's see what 75% gets us. So it's uphill substantially and a little bit into the wind. So 78 ought to be about what we want. Get up, get up, get up, get up there. Yes. Oh no. Oh, I thought I had that ridge. But off it rolls. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a tough two putt to get par. Man, we're so close. All right, so we'll lag that one. That's a pretty substantial. Well, I know that uh, I've played Augusta before in the old system, and the you know Augusta is known for their crazy greens and things like that. And uh, it wasn't as obvious uh, with this new physics. <laughs> it feels a lot more like like Augusta. <laughs> All right, ninth hole here. So we will hit it out here into the big part of the fairway. This one was made for the big hitters. Of course, Webb Simpson compared compared to Arnold Palmer in 1962 as a big hitter, but uh, compared to today's hitters, he's not nearly as strong. But that's a uh, pretty good. He's got the green in front of him there. So we got 122, 121 on the club, and it's uphill. So I'd say that's about, he's below his feet, so he's going to hit it to the right. Uh, let's see if we can get up to that second tier. Nope. Hit the green. That's going to roll back a little bit. Yeah, I got to say, I really, these improvements are, are nothing major. But if you play this game much, um, you, I notice a, a, a difference. I, you know, I've played quite a bit of this game, and I like it. The short game and the physics. Uh, I like the pop-up windows. All right, so Webb Simpson shoots a one over on the front nine. Of, oops, on the front nine of Augusta. Uh, nope, don't want to save it. So, there you have it. Uh, again, I'm really impressed. I like it a lot. Uh, PC, Action PC is my favorite golf game. Uh, it's just uh, so many things you can do, and I've got lots of seasons and lots of courses. The user community is great. They've got uh, tons of other courses that you can get, especially like... Uh, I like doing the 1962 season, and they have a lot of the golf courses that they played on, you know, that you can download, and they're very well done. And uh, But uh, like I said, these new additions, I, I'm going to do some research and see what else might be new. But uh, like I said, the uh, pop-up windows, the physics seem quite a bit better. Um, like I said, I've paid, played about 18 holes now, and uh, that felt like Augusta. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, I like it a lot. So I will, uh, pretty excited about this, so I probably will start up a tournament uh, or a season or something and uh, 
get going on that and play with it. Thanks. <laughs>